what is where is this reflection coming from it's so Morticia Adams you know how she has that soft focused light right on the center of her face it's actually kind of serving <laughs> I am on this like trying to get to where I'm out of my post Christmas slump which I would say it's about the entire month of January, pretty much, where I just feel completely useless. Like I don't have motivation, the sun is setting. And they say that that is just the natural flow of just being a human, is that you're kind of in your hibernation, wintering, slowing down, just, you know, take care of yourself, be kind to yourself. So that's what I've been trying to do, but gosh, it makes you feel so unmotivated and it's a dangerous for me, it's a dangerous place to stay because it will lead for me to a bit of depression and uh, really hard to get re-motivated. But it takes days like today where it's just so sunny outside and so beautiful and I'm like, yes, spring is around the corner. It's so nice out. But I have just been wanting to do things that make me feel good, so I wanted to share those with you. And welcome to a new week with me, a new weekly vlog. We're starting off strong with a smoothie. I have a protein smoothie. It's not 100% healthy. There's a little bit of Nutella in here. I wanted to do like a chocolate banana. So I have bananas, a big scoop of protein powder, peanut butter, some oat milk, and the yogurt. Yes. There's a non-fat plain Greek yogurt in here. So on your Apple Watch, you can share your stats of your activity with your friends. And so I have a couple friends that I am sharing what I've got going on and I just started doing this. I feel like I've got friends that are on the same kind of level as me. Like I don't think I would just yet want to be sharing anything with someone who is already incredibly active, already working out every single day, just blowing me out of the water when it comes to fitness. I think that that would make me not want to wear my watch. <laughs> and, or I would just say, sorry, I don't want to share with you because I'm not competitive. Whew. My hair gummies just came, which is what made my dogs lose it. <laughs> and that's it. So I was just going to say, if you're trying to motivate yourself without feeling the pressure of competition, find some friends that you really trust and love and no won't judge you and share your watch. Okay, I'm done, gotta work. Hello and good, mm -mm, it's not the morning, not even close. I am getting ready for Valentine's Day. Did that make it look better? I'm curious in the viewfinder what that does to the under eye bags because boy, do I have them. But I'm just super anxious today, like big time, and the news doesn't help. I actually unfollowed all of the news uh, local because I follow a lot of local news things on Instagram. And because I'm still on my like controlling the stories and the things that I take into my life on a daily basis. I'm having to really dial back the terribleness. So for Valentine's Day, what we're doing is actually going to this new place. It's called The Great Room and it is inside of a hotel here. It has this like living room feel to it. Big fireplace in the restaurant, really big seats, low to the ground, kind of lounge chairs that you could sit and have a burger and a drink. And we're having obviously non-alcoholic alcohol of some, non-alcoholic beverages of some sort. Yeah, I'm getting ready for our date, but I just found that my order that I had for his present is delayed and not even gonna be available today. Now I'm having to deal with canceling it and Mm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to like find something else. I really don't want to have to shop in the store. I want to just pick something out and go get it. <laughs> so I gotta figure something else out. That's really annoying. You know, I don't expect everything to go perfectly, but it's like literally everything I do. <laughs> literally everything I do is just backfiring. I, you know what it is? Sometimes I just need to sit and meditate and just whew, try to change the energy of, of how things are going so that it can be a nice night for me because I want to have a nice evening. If it doesn't go well, I might flip my lid. <laughs> It'll be like the last straw. I love this little Valentino lipstick. It's just so cute. It's perfect. Anyway, this is my makeup for Valentine's Day. It's not going to be anything super, 
fancy. I just wanted a nice, soft, romantic look. I did my nails yesterday, which I don't love them, but I don't hate them. They did have little uh, white hearts on them. They're pink with little white hearts, but as soon as I added the glitter, you can't really see the hearts anymore. So it's just this muddy pink and gold thing. And I will surely probably take this off as soon as Valentine's Day is over. But the color does match the dress. And the dress is the hot pink one that I thrifted last week or the week before with the skirt hike and that's what I'm gonna wear. All right, Valentine's outfit is on. Can't remember, it looked different last time. Did I wear the other harness with it and it was able to, cause it won't go any further out so it's really close together. Introducing! <laughs> I don't need a curtain lift in that spot. I, I like it. So I think what I'm gonna do when I get back, I don't have time, is switch out the harness to the other one that can spread out a little bit more and do a, more of a lift on the side. I think that would make more sense. I have on my leggings. I have on some cowboy boots because I think it looks really cute with this dress. I love the dress has puffed sleeves. It's such a, you know, romantic silhouette. And the lipstick doesn't match or is it a little off? Might have to go more nude than that. Well, I gotta go get something. I just, I think I'm delaying myself because I don't know what. What am I gonna go get? I did all my shopping last night because I don't have the mental capacity today to go pick something out. I had thought of everything last night and now I've got, I don't know what to do. Look at these gorgeous flowers. Oh, wow. Beautiful flowers and there's a present over there. Oh my gosh. Well, this isn't what I picked out for you. Okay. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay, outfit is switched to a different harness and makes way more sense now. Like that. So now it's just, the other one was like right here. Looks so weird. And then I also switched to a leather jacket. I think it looks so much better with this. And yeah, got the Prada crossbody purse. Everything thrifted head to and Amazon's here. <laughs> That's not a rooftop deck. Oh look, wait, what's those lights? <gasps> Did we find it? Oh my God, we found it. Here, try to open the door. You would have gotten stuck. All right, let me get some footage. <laughs> Stay there. We wanted to see the rooftop terrace, but I would have just gotten stuck because it's got city views. See the Tacoma Dome? That's where we went and saw the... Uh, if you guys can hear me, it might be a little windy. That's where we went and saw the Home and Garden show. I mean, that really is probably one of the most beautiful flowers I've ever seen. Why is it so cool? It almost looks alien. It's dope, huh? Yeah. Already home in the cozy wear, by the way. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear TG. Happy birthday to you. It's your birthday, TG. It's your birthday, baby girl. Oh, what do you want? What do you want? What would you like for your birthday? A haircut is what you need. Hello, welcome to the next day. I don't know how much footage I got of Valentine's. I realize it's not that easy to try to include the camera in everything you're doing when you're out in public. 
Uh, so I got as much as I could. So hopefully, I don't know, you know more than I. So I'm already ready for the day. Uh, as you see, I straightened my hair, which I haven't done in forever. I'm just really assessing the situation because you guys, I took a poll on Instagram if anybody thought I should put my extensions back in and it was a 50-50 split. <laughs> half half said yes and half said no and that does not help me but it literally was I think like 30 people voted every girl that I ever worked with in beauty said yes and every girl that I know that are like really close friends and don't really wear makeup were like don't do it I still don't know basically and I can't I can't decide so I'm just gonna enjoy my hair straightened today and see what I feel my ear is ringing holy crap Mariah Carey notes being hit here in my ear. Woo! I can't think! The sound, it's too loud! I knew my battery would die already. So anyway, I can't remember what I've updated you on or not. But I know I haven't shown you these. This is my gift for Valentine's Day. I had mentioned how I threw my running sneakers in the wash because they got really muddy and they shrunk. They were like Adidas running sneakers. So what I got was a replacement pair of sneakers. I can go on the treadmill with them. I can go on dog walks, but I wanna be really careful. I don't want these to get dirty. They're this lilac purple color. Oh, I love them. And off-white and they're called the Cloud Tech. And when I tell you when you put these on that you feel like you're walking on a cloud, it's, it's pretty bizarre. It's weird how, and you like lean back in them and you feel like you're floating. It's, it's pretty crazy. I feel great. They're really comfortable and roomy and my toes don't feel crammed in them and they're really cool looking. So yeah, that's my day. That's a little update of the morning. I haven't left the house. It's too cold. I'm freezing. I can't warm up and uh, I don't want to go to the grocery store. I can feel everything in my being telling me not to do it. So I'm actually going to sit here on my computer and do some work. Try to stay warm. I actually have my husband's. He has this like giant blanket he got. It looks like a bear. So cozy. But whenever he's not here, I like to steal it. <laughs> but I did, I made my reel for my Avon perfume. And then I actually have been just looking um, like the Avon archives to see what next, what the next one is. Because I had like four, I think it was total that... I saw that I was like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna get these. I'm gonna slowly get these and add them to my collection. So I already know what the next one is gonna be that I wanna buy. <laughs> Started looking up the oldest makeup brands and I didn't realize that Shiseido was as old, old as it is and it, it's the oldest cosmetic brand in existence, Shiseido. It's from like the 1800s, so long ago. That's just crazy. And then yeah, I fell down a rabbit hole of like looking up the oldest makeup because I wanted to also look up vintage makeup from back then. All right, I have nothing to give today. I have nothing to give. That's why I feel like vlogs this month might be a little, I don't know. I need to get my juice back. I'm lose, I've lost mojo, unfortunately.
my god, there's screws. Ta-da! <laughs> awesome weight rack, just no weights. <laughs> I think that this is why people get up at, I have clothes on, <laughs> I have on a towel. But I think this is why people get up at like 5 a.m. to work out. I got up early. I think I could have even gotten up a little bit earlier. And I am on the internet in a towel. I better get some makeup on my face. <laughs> I have a mask in my hair. It's a very big self-care week for me. I did get some foundation, which is why I didn't put anything on. And plus I did just self tan. This was a really lovely surprise. Some of the Anastasia Brow Freeze with a brush. But I used to use this all the time. I could have sworn I still had some. I gave up on the Morphe one. I really need to clean up my brows, I just remembered. So let me do that. I need to do a little bit of shaving. So I'll be right back. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. This is supposed to be a medium coverage. It says light as air. So we'll see about that. I've heard good things about this. And I did put in with uh, Ipsy recently that they've been sending me too dark of a color and that I need them to switch this. But also it's tough because I will be matching this if I tan and if you know, the weather changes anytime soon. So I feel like this will match me, but not right now. If it looks dark at first, just know that I have some self tan on. So let's just, oh yeah, it's so dark. But let's just get the product on so I can at least see how I feel about it. Oh, I meant to do the brow freeze. So I'm gonna avoid the top half of my face. Let's just do this so I can go ahead and get my, my forehead makeup on. First start with the brush, then this is why I didn't want to do any makeup on my forehead because I knew that I would be smooshing this upward. I love this spatula and start fanning it. Since I will be processing to match it, until then I can just do a little bit of a lighter con con concealer, a lighter concealer and brighten the under eye area and maybe even just, you know, around the face like that. Battery died. And I think we're good. Okay, so the next thing in the Ipsy is this. It's the Lunar Beauty Setting Powder. And Lunar Beauty, I believe, is Manny. Is that Manny? That's Manny MUA. I think I have a couple of things. See, that setting powder is just way too dark. So it looks like uh, we've got another thing to add to the... Uh, another thing to add to the makeup kit. Wasting so much time doing the dumbest stuff. I'm actually going to do my brows off camera because all you needed to see was a brow freeze. I'm going to do what I always do with the lift and snatch and just put some hair strokes through it where they belong. Just ignore how dark they are. I'm going to let them kind of like settle into my face and then I'm going to go and define them differently. On to the next. This I'm so excited about. I'm so so excited about. We have a couple of little trips planned and I was thinking about what palette I wanted to bring and which ones I like the most. This to me is the perfect palette by Dominique Cosmetics. Perfect. Perfection. If, because it has a good black. Well, I don't know. I've never used the black, but look at that black. It's like so matte. And then this really beautiful neutral brown, a huge pan of a neutral nude. Gotta have it. And then you've got these champagnes. It's perfect. You guys want to see me peel the sticker? Because that's so fun and satisfying, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> so satisfying. Oh yeah, it's like taking off a stocking at night. Your toes, pop. So we're starting off with the nude and I'm just gonna really neutralize because I have redness now that I did a little light shaving around the brow. You know what I could do too before I get into this? I think I actually want to do my bronzer, do my blush, maybe even do my lip because we're not doing that together. Let's do that, I'll be right back. I'm wearing the adorable little Pat McGrath one that was a Bridgerton collection. Okay, so we're gonna go in with True Self. Kind of more of a, it looks almost just like a khaki. Prep my under eye for fallout just in case. So I listened to Beyonce's new album this morning when I was working out. Not new album, her new song. This ain't Texas, Ooh. ain't no hold'em. But I listened to the new country song and I like it. I, I, I really like it. I get it. Everyone's doing country. Everyone's doing it right now. Like even RuPaul. <laughs> like RuPaul did a country song on 
the most recent Drag Race episode and I liked it. And I love that RuPaul was so channeling Cher. Does, it, does anybody know? I wish that I could be talking with somebody right now because I want to talk about it. Like RuPaul channeled Cher with the movements and just the like whole thing. It was just Cher on stage, but it was Cher inside of RuPaul. It was crazy. I haven't done like a smoky eye in so long. My groomer's coming and she's going to be like, whoa, <laughs> what do you got going on later? Like nothing. I'm just on YouTube playing with my Ipsy. This would be such a beautiful bridal color eyeshadow. This right here. So glam. This is the give by Gwen Stefani, who is the person who was on the whole thing to begin with. Ow! Gwen Stefani, I didn't even mention by the way, is the curator of this box. So every time there is an icon box, there's an icon who puts the whole thing together. Pat McGrath was the last one. Yes. And then before that was Bailey Sarian. So it's always these like really iconic people in the beauty. And um, I love that they did Pat McGrath because she's an actual makeup artist. And Bailey Sarian was too. Bailey Sarian actually was a makeup artist and vlogged for a hot minute. I was following her back when she vlogged. She was an LA makeup artist and she wasn't doing any of the podcasting and true crime stuff yet. But I could tell that she didn't enjoy vlogging. I felt like she didn't like it. I don't know. But her personality was like what would suck you in and pull you in. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I'm getting off on a tangent. Give beauties like a uh, purple almost. I hope this shows up on me. <laughs> Guess we'll find out. All right, so let's do, oh, okay. First swipe is, is looking good. Oh, it's really buttery. Okay, good. No tugging. Nice. Not bad. You know an eye look is pretty when you haven't even put on mascara or lashes yet and it looks good. All right, I'm gonna put on 25 coats. I'll be right back. All right, and there is the finished look. What do you think? I like it. I haven't seen my uh, face with this much makeup on in a hot minute and it is, it's really nice. I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder, so sorry if I'm not making eye contact with the camera. I always find that to be annoying. Not, no judgment, but when other people are just staring at themselves, you're just kind of like, are you gonna look at the camera or are we just gonna be watching you watch yourself? <laughs> it's a little awkward, but yeah. So anyway, I, I like it a lot. I think it's really nice. And I will say that this palette, because of the tones that are in here, that this is gonna be probably one of my go-to palettes for the upcoming trips we have planned and just throughout spring and summer. I love a palette where I can just take a shimmer and just go like that on my eye and be good. And also, a pan of nude that big and a pan of a black tone this big and brown to actually these three up here. I need a palette of just giant pans of just that, like oversized jumbo, nude, brown, and black. And that would be like my go-to palette for just any time I want a matte eyeshadow look. But I love that these are super, um, they're, they're very big. I mean, I'm sure that there's something to be said about the, the depth of the pan so that they're not giving you so much more makeup than everybody else. But um, I have a few things to do right now and I'm gonna go, like I said, dry my hair and I will see you guys in a little bit. What is my hair doing and why does it look so good? I'm sorry, I just, I had to, <laughs> I had to document this moment because I've always wanted to get this kind of style back where I can push my bangs to the side and it look okay. Like almost curtain bangy, but like look at that, the way it's just going like this and it's like super bouncy and healthy. What? But oh my God, I need to go take a picture because like, I'm feeling kind of like a supermodel today. The groomer should be coming. So this is a before of my little scruffle muffins. Bean, show everybody how you look like a catfish. Let's look at my little scruffy catfish boy. <laughs> Oh, 
Look, look, look at those beauties. I have put my Icon lashes back on. These are Lilac Street lashes. You guys know if you've been here for a while that I have an allergy to fake lashes, except for Lilac Street because I apply them to the lash hair, not to the skin. So since they don't touch my skin, I don't have any allergy issues whatsoever. It just attaches to the bottom of your lashes and you just squeeze them on and you're good to go. It's the simplest thing to apply and once you get it down, you get it down. The first time I ever did it, it was a nightmare, but <laughs> after that it got easier and easier. Now I'm just boop, 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 and I do four along the lash line and I love them. These are icons in 14 millimeter and I do wanna thank you guys for using my discount code and my links because I'm seeing it on my affiliates uh, because I am an affiliate with them. I can see it on my dashboard that people are actually using it, buying it and loving it. So thank you so much for doing that. I always have that linked below with my code for any time I talk about Lilac Street in a video, you'll see that link below it. I just really like them. I really like them. And I'm actually gonna go place an order because this was my last pair. Time for a refresh. I'm back, baby. I just really feel when I look back at myself like a, a nice version of me. And it's not that I need it. I don't need to be glued together in order to feel pretty but it helps to have these enhancements. And so if it's something that you do for a really long time and stop and you try to go back to being natural and giving your body a break and giving your hair a break, yes, it's great, all that's great. But also when you put them back on, you're like, oh yes, ma'am. <laughs> Makes me feel so good. And when I see myself in the viewfinder, I'm like, yes, I look good, I like it. I am um, heading off to run some errands. You're coming with me and we're also going to be working on a fun project, which I'll explain here in a minute. Look at these freshly groomed, absolute angel dragons. Look at you guys, you look so good. Here is the OOTD. I'm looking like Parker Posey in Dazed and Confused. Okay, we are at the thrift store and I am going to try to find clip-on earrings to match this vintage Avon ad. That is what I wanna recreate this weekend. And I am gonna try to find a dress that's similar to the one that she has on, but I have one I think that would work actually really great for this. Uh, just because we're at the thrift store, I'll see if I find something else. It's a pretty basic white dress with some lacy detail. So I think I can maybe, you know, work it out. But clip-ons, I do not have. Everywhere I went was so busy. <laughs> it was so busy out in the world today. That's good, right there, perfect. Look at this Christian Dior foundation. And then also I really do think that red light therapy thing plumped my skin. Does it look plumped or is it just in my head? Yeah, I think it did something. <laughs> I like it. It said that you could do it daily for one to two minutes. I think I'll just do it like a couple times a week to start. We got some lamb, mint, and honey, Bocce's Bakery. One for you and one for you. I'll have this in the other room, thank you very much. Was it good? The next thing I got was a rosemary and mint, Eastery kind of looking uh, hand soap. New soap to go in here. And I like that it's Eastery, because these ones we've had forever. Marcy gave us a set and we um, loved having them for the holidays and they're all empty. So that was a nice gift. So now we have a new one. I grabbed some cracked heel balm. I just thought it was an interesting package. Like it looked like deodorant and I thought how odd for home goods to have deodorant. And uh, it is actually a cracked heel coconut shea butter. And I thought this would be really nice to keep next to the bed because I do have a nighttime like routine I do where I do like a hand cream, a cuticle oil. I'll do, you know, just whatever care I can do, self-care to myself as I am about to go to sleep because then it could just absorb into the body while I sleep. I don't have a candle currently that I'm using in the kitchen and I love lemon. So I thought it was time to re-up on a kitchen candle. And then I got a candle for the living room. This one is Amber Moss and Palo Santo. And I love when candles have that 
different type of colorful but clear glass because then you can see the candle burning through it and it just looks really elegant. And then at the thrift store, I did uh, get the earrings that I needed and I've decided to not do a dress. I just didn't see any that I liked, but I did see a dress that I was interested in just for everyday wear um, coming up here in the springtime. Cause look how cute, almost feels like a really nice cotton. So I was really impressed by the quality and the feel of this dress. Love it. And it was pretty affordable. It was only $7.99 and it has pockets. But here are the earrings I went for. These are so funny, look at them. They have leaves with little acorns dangling. They're the only ones that I can find that I felt were like big enough and gaudy enough for this little project that I wanna do. And so all I have to do is change, curl my hair, do my lipstick, and put on that outfit and then take a photo. Okay, I don't feel like I'm that far off on the makeup as hers. I think her lips are just a little bit more rosy. And I'm gonna take Beige Pop. Then we're gonna go over it with the Dior Maximizer Hyaluronic Lip Plumper. And this is just a nice pearly pink. I think that would be a nice compliment over this. That will look very similar to hers. This is the dress I was thinking of. It looks very similar to hers. It has a lacy top to it and then a like more silky bottom. I think silky bottom. It just looks like the same dress. And this is the Amy 2 dress that I got ages ago thrifting. Oh God, here we go. Tina! <laughs> you weirdo! <laughs> I am pretty proud of myself for this hair because I did the thing where you take the headband and then you, you push it forward. That's how you get that look, remember? And then we just, we never had straight flat back hair back in the 90s, you know? It was always this, when I was in middle school, in high school, we always, we always had a little bit of a poof, you know? <laughs> oh, I miss this. I think we should bring this back. This needs to come back. That's cute. I am so glad I grabbed the dress. I almost put it back because I was like, I don't need it. I'm so glad I grabbed it. This is really cute. I love this. I can't believe this is old navy. The problem with me shooting a video for Sienna and the Craftsman, as well as my own personal YouTube, I forget what I've said. So I don't know if I showed you guys the earrings on yet, <laughs> but here they are. This is the leaf and acorn earrings. I actually, I think I kind of love clip-ons. Uh, anyway, I think I'm actually done. Here's the, here's the ad. Anyway, um, I am done. Thank you so much for watching this week with me. Hopefully I will be feeling better next week. I'm gonna go work out. I know that's gonna help me. So I'm gonna go change out of this and go hit the gym because that will make me feel so good. All right, bye, see you next week. I'd like to share that.